So I'm wearing the 3D Hub sweater. It's a new year and there's a lot of controversy surrounding 3D Hubs and their new potential guidelines for FDM printing. So let's dive in and talk about it. So in short, I should probably list my 3D Hub specs so that way people won't think that I'm just a client and I'm being picky. I have been a member since, I forget the date, but I'll put it up on here. I've done 145 orders. I have a 4.91 out of five star rating and I have an 11 minute response time. So for anybody who wants to say that I just order things, no. I'm an active member of the print side of the community supplying prints to people. So in short, 3D Hubs came out and it's still kind of in the um, probation stage, if you will. They've mentioned it and they're trying to get feedback on it. They came up with some general guidelines for FDM 3D prints. The first and most highly controversial one is the tolerancing. They're asking hubs to maintain either a one millimeter plus or minus tolerance or a 1% of the print size tolerance. Now, the reason why I think this is a good idea is so that way it makes sure that you're making your prints decently accurate. Say you farmed out work to four different hubs because they had the material you needed and everything needs to print together, fit together for one larger print and you get the parts back and person's A print is spot on, person's B print is nicely tolerant, you know, it's good. Person C's hub did it not even remotely close to the accuracy that was required and person's D hub is good as well. Well, all of a sudden person's C hub has totally thrown your project in, in the gutter and you gotta try and explain that, no, really, your part didn't turn out to the right size, blah, blah, blah. Now. I do feel that there are exceptions to this, but this falls under the general category of discuss things with your client before you accept the order. And I'm gonna harp on that numerous times during this. If you're not sure that something will print out within the specs that they want, tell the person. You know, I have had people decline orders because I said that I personally don't feel I can pull this off within the tolerance team that you require and it is up to you to decide if you want to continue or if you want to terminate the order before any money has changed hands. And I have had people who said, you know what, let's go ahead and give this a try. And I've had some people say, hey, thanks, but I'm sorry, I got to cancel. I totally respect that. You know, I feel it's our duty as a printer operator to express our potential concerns about a print to the customer before anything happens. So that way they don't feel like they got screwed and you don't feel like you just made an idiot of yourself. Another thing that they're asking is support material to be removed. I really don't get why removing support material is such a big stinking deal for people. My gosh, I have done prints that were thin and required at least half of the print to be support material. And you know what? I removed the support material. I don't think my client would have been very happy if I mailed her out the part and it was covered in support. I mean, if there were things that I was concerned that might not be totally removable, I will tell the client that and be like, hey, I'm gonna give it my best shot removing it. There might be a few things that I might not be able to get to because of the design of the print, but I'd let you know. And people are like, okay, thanks for letting me know. And at least you express to the client ahead of time that there might be potential minor issues in there. And that's just something that they're gonna have to decide on, you know? which kind of goes back to the whole, if you have problems or potential concerns, express them before you accept the order. Now, the last one is making sure that prints don't have visible delamination, which 
I understand printing an ABS isn't cool, but if you can't print ABS without it warping, and you're selling a print, and you didn't really express that to the person, you probably shouldn't be printing an ABS to begin with. I mean, I understand, I've done ABS prints, they will warp, they will delaminate, they will crack, but that's just the nature of ABS, and that is why I don't print in ABS very often, if really anymore. You know, if you want to specialize in doing ABS and you can do it good, awesome, more power to you. Totally, that's cool. You know, the people are like, oh, well, you mean I can't send out like a, you know, a print that looks like a Pringles chip? And it's like, I wouldn't be happy if I got a print that looked like a Pringles chip. Would you be happy if you got a print that looked like a Pringles chip? I don't think so. Maybe you're different, but I sure wouldn't be very happy. You know, the other thing is making sure the prints don't have a ton of visible artifacts. I mean, this could be a little bit wishy-washy, if you will. The only reason why I say that is certain people might pick up on certain things as an artifact and certain people might not. What I think they're really looking for is making sure the print doesn't look like it has a horrible case of the zits. And it's got like all these zits all on the outside and it just looks like horrible. I think they're trying to avoid something like that because that wouldn't, that wouldn't be very fun. I mean, there have been times where I've had a print that didn't turn out perfect and I've told the client and nine times out of 10 are like, yeah, that's cool. I have had a couple people either request that I sand it down or attempt to reprint, which again, I respect, you know, I would much rather let them know ahead of time than ship it out to them and have them get all bent out of shape and feel like they got screwed over. So personally, this is my take on the whole thing. I really, I don't know. I guess I just don't understand why people are so been out of shape about it. I feel like partly as a customer, if you have certain expectations of a print, you should express those to the hub. And as the hub owner, you should probably, you know, communicate with your client as well, just to make sure that they understand the potential expectations for the print and you guys can work it out from there. You got to remember, operating a business is very much a case of they're trusting you with their money and you're trusting them to appreciate what you send back and a little bit of communication, either before, during, or after, is a great idea. And it can go a long ways to making not only you look good, but also potentially saving yourself from the heartache of, you know, them not appreciating something or not liking it. I, I feel like if you as the hub have expressed your concerns about something and the person's acting complete jerky, and you know, a person from 3D Hub steps in and sees that you've already expressed the fact that there were gonna be potential problems with the print and the person agreed to do it and they're, you did to the best of your ability and that whole thing and they're just completely acting like a jerk. I think 3D Hubs would look at that and go, okay, well, you know, they might not always side in your favor, but I feel it's still a good thing to cover your back to just express your feelings about something and especially underneath these new rules, it's not a bad idea. So guys, seriously, if you don't like it, you have all the right in the world to just stop doing it. But for people like me, I actually appreciate that they're kind of coming up with guidelines and things like that. So that way it's not this milky, well, you know, I thought this looked good. Then I just sent it out and they didn't like it, but you know, it my stand. No, no, having, having a set of guidelines that you follow by, I think is a good idea. And, and remember this, Pretend that you're the customer. Would you be proud if you got the print? It's only something you can decide, but you know, thought I'd end it on that note. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I normally don't do videos like this where I'm kind of ranting about things, but I just felt I had to express my opinion on it. I, I read, read enough back and forth, bicker, bicker about things, and just was like, you know what? Enough is enough. I gotta do something. So hope you guys enjoyed 2017 and leave your comments down below on what you think about this, but please be kind and respectful. See you guys later.